started playing badminton when he was six. Um, and now he's 42. Um, it's been a long time and I don't think he got any better. He's the worst player I've ever seen. He has no chance of winning at all. Period. You know, it must have been hard growing up in Guinea-Bissau. Uh, I guess people don't really have world-class badminton on their minds there. It's more revolutions, coups. Who can blame the guy? People laugh at him, but he's still a nice guy. But he's terrible at badminton. He, sw he sweats for no reason. This year he made it to the Maccabee Games, though. Fifth largest international sporting competition. Some refer to it as the Special Olympics for Jews. We are not the most athletic people. I come from Peru. I'm Chinese coach. I'm Andrew coach. Uh, Coach never lets him play with the grown-ups. Andrew's not that good. I always beat him and I'm only nine. over 40 shouldn't be playing sports and he is well over 40. Maybe they should be playing like chess or bridge, but definitely not that or any other kind of sports. First of all, Andrew is a very special guy. Been involved in the community, been involved in Jewish activities. Even though I have not played against him in badminton, but I do know that miracles do happen as a Jew, as a rabbi. We faced great adversity than Andrew playing badminton. As the menorah standing behind me, from one day of oil lasted for eight days. From the Jews standing at the Sea of Reeds as the water split leaving Egypt. As the Jews beat in the Six Day War all the Arab nations around them. I say today, hold your breath, because here comes another miracle, a modern day miracle, as Andrew will be victorious and will win the gold medal. All I ever wanted to do was uh, make my country proud. As a kid I wanted to be the first African astronaut, but uh, as it turns out I was too big for the space capsule. I didn't meet the uh, size requirements. I think this is my big chance. I'm in it to win it. I'm going for the gold.